I'm Beth Curry, and um, I'm friends, good friends with Brett and um, and friends with her mother now through Brett and I love them but I'm going to do a little Q&A with them right now. <laughs> what is the first movie you ever saw and what movie as a child made an impression on you? Well I have two answers to that. I think the first movie that I saw was Snow White, Walt Disney when it first came out and I loved it but I remember I cried when the mother was in the forest fire and it was so dramatic for me but then the other movie was an ancient movie with Gary Cooper it was called Saratoga Trunk I've never even heard of that <laughs> no I know if we have, because you're not a watch that no it was really a great movie I'm but have to it, he that. was the first love of my life I must have been four or five and I fell in love with Gary Cooper in that movie and it's a great movie so if you ever want to See if you can rent it or watch it somewhere. I'm sure, you can get it on but, Netflix um, or Amazon. He was yeah. so handsome, and I was such a little girl. But I became my first love, and that's when I really wanted to be in the movies. My mother said I tried to run up. I got off of her lap and tried to run up on the stage to join Gary Cooper in the wow, movie. That's it's true. Oh, I was such a. So what about you, Brett? Uh, my first movie that I ever saw, that I, believe it or not, was a television, remember. that I remember was a television movie. It was Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella when I was oh. like three or four at my grandmother yeah. Nana's. And I wanted to be Cinderella and she ended up sewing me this beautiful, so, yeah, I was in love with that movie and the music of, of Rodgers. And Leslie, that, what was her Leslie name? Ann Warren, it was her first. And then I think the movie that influenced me the most that was the when I was youngest was The Great Gatsby mm -hmm. with Robert Redford. I I just fell in love with that movie like it was I just loved that movie. I loved the whole that story whole and that was just a great re, yeah. redo of that book. Yeah. So that with that movie I remember thinking about it. I went to see it with a friend. I think we were 12. Her, her mother took us and I thought about it like every day after that like wow, you know. Yeah. And changing the subject quite a bit. Um, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Um, usually, I do. And some of them are really weird. I have a recurrent dream that, and I don't know what it means. I'd really like to be able to talk to a dream analysis person. But I have a dream that I find rooms in my house. And it's always a different, like it may be an apartment, maybe a house that I all of a sudden I'll open the door and say, oh, I didn't know I had these rooms. And I get so excited. Because you could that decorate I, them. It may be because I have all of these extra rooms. Wouldn't that be exciting if yeah. it really were true? You'd wake up in the morning. Like, yeah. Have a whole new life. But it's a, <laughs> it's, it's a recurring dream. But what some, I've had recently is I recently sold my house that I lived in for 43 years. And I have dreams that I'm back at that house there's no sadness involved, but I have have a feeling that I shouldn't be there. Oh, we better hurry up and leave because we're not supposed to oh, be here. Somebody's gonna catch you. Somebody's gonna catch me here at this yeah. house. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I remember my dreams. Not every. I don't remember every single dream that I had. You know, but I do remember. And I, my only recurrent. I have two recurrent, three recurrent dreams. One is I'm always on an airplane and something's happening. I have dreams oh. that like the airplane turns into like a spaceship and I, and I have all these passengers and I can't get to them. Or the airplane is like a lounge and people are sitting in. Str I have airplane dreams. Yes, I do. Too. I have a, a reoccurring dream sometimes. I'm going over a bridge and I'm scared and there's a bunch of sharks circling below and I think that's fear. That's a fear-based dream. And uh, the other one is always searching for my home. I'm wandering through the woods, and I go to people's houses, and I think You're I live lost. there. So wow. yeah, searching, searching for my 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 forever place. I think a place that I really love that I want to call home. But uh, and some yeah. I'm sure you'll have uh, viewers that will have some take sure. on these dreams. So good. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you own? Oh my gosh. I don't know, but you know I keep them forever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear the same ones regularly, and then you have a whole lot of other shoes that it's just kind don't of get like worn. something that's very comfortable? Yeah. And I, you know that is true. But I do keep them forever, especially if they're a good brand. You know, right. something that costs me a lot of money. Sure, sure. Even if you never wear them, I just them look again. at them. Yes, right? yes. <laughs> uh, I think you probably have about. 25 or 30 pairs and I and it's not that many but it is to some people who have hundreds of pairs of shoes but I I basically have like I don't know four pairs of sandals a couple pairs of flip-flops like three pairs of sneakers I don't think flip-flops should count okay so maybe 20 
20 pairs of shoes. I really, I'm a, I'm a minimalist, believe it or not. I don't like clutter, so I throw clothes and shoes away or sell them on Poshmark or yeah, eBay. Do. I don't keep a lot of stuff, and, and the older I get, the less stuff I really want. I want to get myself down to like, and some boots. So I would say, with, and about four pairs of boots. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. I'm, I'm not a shoe maven. No. I'm, I'm, I love shoes, but I'm a minimalist when it comes to shoes. And what is your favorite dessert? I know. Mine's coconut cream pie, hands down. Yeah. What about that key lime pie? Although that key lime pie week. at the Chart House That's was it the my Chart new House? Favorite Homemade dessert. key lime pie we had in Boston, and I did a little oh, video on that. Uh, I keep thinking about it. That was delicious. <laughs> well, today when we're down on Lincoln Road in Miami, there's we'll get we can maybe get a. Might have to find another. Although I when I we went with Patty the other day, we shared some bread pudding at that. Oh, I do love bread pudding. Oh God! All right. I love you, New Jen? York cheesecake. I first had it in Washington, D.C., I think, at a big, very famous steakhouse. I can't remember because it was so long ago, but I was from Ohio, and I'd never had cheesecake before, and oh, to yeah. die for. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's my favorite. I know it's my favorite. Now, they make the New York cheesecake with cream cheese, correct? Because yes. yes. I've heard I of a so, ricotta yeah. cheese. Yeah, which is a French little, cheese it's, it's a little lighter. lighter. Yeah, but I like the heavy. Okay, yeah, that's it's not, yeah, Heavy that's fat and stuff. Yeah. And to finish it up, which is a pretty big question, actually. Got to keep it to fit. Do you have any fears, and what are they? I'm acrophobic. I'm so afraid of heights, mm -hmm. but I think I know where it came from. When I was a little girl, I lived in, in a big house with a lot of different floors on it, and I can remember leaning out the window. There was no screen. The window was open, and the cat was sitting on a windowsill. I must have been three or four, and I can just remember seeing if that cat could fly, and I gently gave it a push. <gasps> I don't know what happened. I pray that that cat landed oh. on all. F it's true that landed on all fours. I guess I was only My about mother four is a floors. Cat <laughs> no, but you know, <laughs> I, I can remember that, and ever, and I think that's why I'm afraid of heights because I probably watched the cat. Go oh down, but you but I don't have to it out. What happened after? You may be, but I but you know cats are really pretty. Yeah, but resilient. they can. I don't know how three, far you three or four stories. That's they might probably have, a little high. They probably oh, would I broke its leg. But I I've written about it because it was so traumatic for it me. To you be. know, afterwards. It's traumatic to but me right now. But children do things like that, you know, and they they don't think they don't realize about death and yeah. about you know they just think you know oh, that's fun that cat. Probably how many cats fly. have you killed, Brett? <laughs> I'm afraid of my my biggest fear now is my mother. This serial cat killer. I'm afraid she's going to really push me off the ledge. For me. <laughs> Did you ever dress up as a cat for Halloween? <laughs> to freak my mother out. That's so funny. I love cats. Actually, I love all animals. Um, I have no fear of anything. No, I'm only kidding. No, um, my fear. Spiders. I'm feared. I hate spiders, and I'm afraid of heights, and you know, and my big, and then you know, I'm afraid that. Yeah, that I'll end up homeless on the street mm. without a job That's because a of my rheumatoid fear. arthritis. I won't be able to go to work anymore. And, no. Yeah. yeah. That's Good. a big one. Yeah. So, uh, no, but I'm just kind of kidding. I'm, uh, yeah. Well, this has been fun. I, I <laughs> thought that I knew you two pretty well, and now I know even more about you. <laughs> Maybe things you don't want to know. You've just made my life so much richer. <laughs> Well, thank you, Beth, so much for, for being the you question ear today. And I love having you. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up if you want to. Or you can push the little button below and subscribe. I have one more question. Sure. Lipstick on your teeth or toilet paper on your shoe? Let's keep it light Lipstick here. on my teeth, for sure, because I've had toilet paper on and my I'd shoe. And I'd say toilet and paper on my shoe because I could see it. No, it you off. can't Where's see it a lot unless somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, How about hey, you, Beth? Miss, Lipstick? You have a little toilet, toilet paper, paper on, on, on my shoe. My shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really the worst, and it has happened to me. I went to a funeral one time, and I came out of the bathroom, and I was dragging this That's lovely white a bandage oh on my, my foot. Goodness. That's the worst. <laughs> thank so thank you, you again. Thank you, Beth. You're and, welcome. and have a great day here.